Hello once again. So this is going to be a new uh, GUI video. A lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about in here, I've actually talked about more in depth in other videos. So if you want to get um, some more information, definitely look at those. But I see people always asking how to make GUIs just look better, you know, more pretty, beautiful, whatnot. So there's really not much you can do uh, with GUIs uh, except for by using pictures. You can use pictures to kind of spruce it up. So I'm going to show you an example of that today. And I'm just going to use Smart GUI uh, Creator. Uh, if you don't know what that is or want to know more about it, I have done a video. I think it was actually my very first GUI video I did. So definitely check that out, and that should help you. So today we're just going to only focus on pictures, though. So I got this little box here, and I want to start with a, kind of like a background or for me, I'm just going to use a border. So these images that I got right here on my desktop, I just kind of Googled the word border and I found this. And then I just downloaded an off and on switch that looked pretty much the same. So I'm going to start with the border because that's going to be my background. So you want to create your background first because that's going to be your most back layer when you load the GUI, obviously. So I'm going to go in here. Uh, I got it on my desktop. I'm going to load that in. So I'm just going to put it up here in the corner. And I want to fit it to the size. So when I'm fitting this, my mouse is actually outside of the GUI. So if I click, it should still lock in. But sometimes you do have to double click. I mean, worst case scenario, you can just enlarge your GUI, put it how you want, and then adjust the GUI to the size. So that looks pretty good. So I want to start with an... Uh, the picture with the off button you know just start with that whoa that's pretty big so obviously i want to make that a lot smaller something like that looks pretty good let's center that a little better and i'm done because obviously i don't want the on switch there just yet you know i want when the gui loads this is how i want it to look and then when i perform an action by clicking on this button then i want it to turn on so I've actually gone ahead and already copied this code. So we can go ahead and look at the code there. So there's that GUI right there. And I just have that assigned to an F1 key. Um, so a few things I did here. Um, I added a variable for the picture, uh, the, uh, the off switch. Because as you see here, it's starting with the off uh, PNG. So I got value, picture variable, and then G as in go, on off. So that basically makes the picture clickable. When I click it, it's going to go to this handler, which is just right here. Uh, the other things I've done is up here, I got the path for picture 1, which is the off key. And then picture 2, I have the path for the on key. The next thing is I have a variable here that I'm just assigning the value 1 to. So basically what's going to happen here is the GUI loads. I click on the off button. It's going to go to on off, which is down here. And then it's going to look to see if start picture, that variable up there, equals one. I want to do a GUI control. So a GUI control is just GUI control, uh, two commas there, because I don't need that uh, slot there. Picture variable, which is up there. So it's saying change, you know, whatever's in this field. That's how you target it. And change it to the path of picture two, which is the on key. Then we're going to say start picture now equals two instead. That way, the next time that I do actually click that on off and it comes down here, it's actually just going to hit this if down here, which is the exact same thing. The only difference is it's changing it back to picture one and resetting start pitch uh, variable to one. And then, you know, obviously make sure you put your returns after each one. If I were to leave this uh, return out here by accident, you know, it would perform this action, but then it would keep going and say, oh, well, you know, start picture is equal to two because I just changed up here. And it would just revert it back to picture one before hitting this return down here. So make sure you put a return after these ifs on the inside also. Um, you know, you can also put, you know, an action in here. You know, if I push that off button and it changes to on, maybe I want it to turn my volume on 
But then down here, I could put another action that when I turn it to the off pitcher, it mutes my volume. You know, something like that. So in here, you know, definitely put whatever action it is. The only action I'm doing here is just changing the pitcher. I, I don't really have much I can uh, think of to do right now for an example for that. So yeah, let's go ahead and see this thing in action, shall we? So I just named it Pretty Gooey. It's a fun name. So I'm going to push F1. And there's my nice looking GUI. So I got that off button there with the border. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the off button. And now it's on. And click it again. Now it's off. So this is like by far the best way you can kind of make GUIs look better is just by using images. You know, go on Google, you'll find a ton of, you know, button images. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of them that I found took you to websites where it was like, you know, download this icon, but then you had to either sign up or pay for a pro membership. Uh, kind of got around that by just taking a screenshot and then cropping it out using just simple old paint. Um, so there's a way to kind of save you from having to just sign up for useless accounts or having to pay to get some icons. Just take screenshots of them and edit them for yourself. That's my best tip there for you. Save you some money. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's something you didn't quite understand, want me to explain a little more, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you have any other ideas of other ways to make your GUIs look a lot better than just using images, also let me know. And uh, I'm uploading usually about two to three videos a week. So definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Hit that like button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.